The member for Holt. Mr. Speaker, <clears throat> um, I rise tonight to recognise a group of outstanding young students from Remembering Primary School and Chalcott Lodge Primary School, who by their efforts and endeavours have won a major national championship in a new and increasingly important field at the frontier of scientific research. These young students, through their hard work and effort, not only have won the state RoboCup Championship, but also the RoboCup Junior National Championship in Canberra last month. Now, this outstanding achievement came after months of fundraising and hard work from the 17-strong team of Grade 3 and Grade 4 students from your memory and Chalcott Lodge Primary Schools. Now, the Australian National University hosted the day of competition on the 18th of September this year, which saw students competing against eight other state finalists from across the country. I think it's important to note that the sponsorship of this championship came from organisations like World Teaching Aids, University of New South Wales Computing and the internet uh, giant Google Australia. Now, RoboCup uh, Junior Australia is a project-oriented educational initiative that supports local, regional and international robotic events for young students. Teams work in a cooperative and supportive environment developed by volunteer groups of teachers, past competitors and industry members. The focus of RoboCop Junior Australia is the development of teamwork skills as well as technical skills and environment of participation, fun and excitement. Now, in 2000, the first international RoboCup Junior competition was held in Melbourne, Australia. Since then, schools throughout the world, like the ones in my electorate, have participated in this exciting robotics competition, which has led some people to classify it as the educational game of the new millennium. What this means in reality, though, is months of hard work assembling the robots, programming them, planning and choreographing the movements in a dance spectacular. Now, the winning performance by these two schools was called Monster Mash, and it was described in one of our great local papers as a spookily theme dance that had robot zombies, uh, I know I repeat zombies, Mr Speaker, and skeletons, programmed and choreographed by students dancing around gravestones and rising out of coffins. Now, their enthusiasm and hard work of these students and teachers Tamsin Beersley and Melinda Brown and the support of the parents and sponsors culminated in this outstanding achievement. Now, one of the teachers, Tamsin, said that it was done completely by the students. No teachers were allowed in the practice area. So, students had to be completely organised and perform without any assistance from adults. Accordingly, basically, Tamsin said it blew the teachers away. The students did a very good job. And keep in mind, Mr Speaker, these are students from grade three and grade four. Both school communities are extremely proud of each of the students in the team. In winning the national championships, the students demonstrated excellent ICT skills and teamwork and also applied the qualities of persistence, of resilience, cooperation and drive, qualities that we know will stand in good stead throughout their school and their working lives. The principal of Chalcott Lodge Primary School, Kay Davies, and the principal of your memory primary school, Wayne MacDonald, are thrilled about their students' achievements at state and national levels. Everyone um, is extremely proud of them. Uh, Mrs Davies and Mr Macdonald believe that it's a credit to the schools that they are at for providing the opportunities for the students to achieve and to shine and acknowledge the dedicated and talented staff and the never-failing support of the parents and they think that makes Chalcott Lodge and your memory primary school the wonderful, the special and unique schools that they are. There was a celebration event conducted today, Mr Speaker, to celebrate this national achievement and at the celebration many of the students commented on their achievement. For example, one of the students said it was exciting because we learned how to make robots follow our commands. Another said it was great to work with friends and with robots. Another said you get to try new things. And all of them, Mr Speaker, I'm very proud to report, enjoyed their trip to Canberra. Can I say, just in, in uh, generally concluding, that this achievement by Grade 3 and Grade 4 students is an outstanding achievement. It's a fantastic national competition. So I've just in the time left remaining to me acknowledge um, Alia Dasavri, Chelsea Stanchu, Rawan Al Mulsawi, Joseph Hallowell, Shane Bird, Chelsea Gow, Carissa Pert, Blake Eames, Shannon Colgan, Riley Boucherville, Bella de Boucherville, Kyle Hilbridge, Nick Jovicic, Blake Rudling, Savannah Bradley, Jordan Shanahan, and Danella Sukchak. All of these outstanding young students are basically from grade three and grade four, I might point out, are studying in an area and reaching out in an area which is groundbreaking. I'd like to congratulate the organisers of the event for giving the students the opportunity 
to pursue their dreams and particularly congratulations to everyone associated with Chalcot Lodge and your memory primary school.